fall on? How much is it just needed better execution? How much of it was them? Fatigue? Just what did you see from the offense? Yeah, the offense, um, we were one for 11 from three. Um, we missed some, a bunch of shots. Um, I think the you still can find ways to win when you're shooting that poorly. We, we, it was just night and day. We hit seven threes in the first half. Um, the thing, the, my, my thing, the story was uh, the rebounding and the turnovers. It's hard to defend out front turnovers that turn into layups, and it's hard to defend offensive rebounds for layups. Those are the, there was um, the points off turnovers, turnovers and the offensive rebounds. Those are hard to defend. I thought we did a lot of good things defensively um, that we wanted to do, um, but points off turnovers and offensive rebounds are very hard to defend. We'll go Bob and James. Brief update on Javion. He's fine. We're gonna, he's getting looked at right now, so I, I, I got to check. I'll check more after this, but he I, from last time I checked, he was fine. And then how big is this week of rest that's coming up, and how are you going to navigate that week? Yeah, we're going to navigate the week, and um, you know, it's it's our bye week, and we've been playing every you know three days since Christmas, um, as everyone else has. Um, so um, we've got to go on a mission. We got to go on a mission to get better. Got to go mission to get fresh, healthy, um, and uh, tons to tons to look forward to in these 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 final five games. And uh, we want to get better this weekend. This week, um, we had a really poor second half. A really poor second half, um, shooting it, taking care of it, and rebounding it, um, and um, we've got to we've got to go on a mission this weekend to get fresh and get better. James, how much did it hurt to not have Waldo and Hewley? That's 14 points off the bench for you. Your bench didn't give you much today. How much did it hurt to have those guys? Made it hurt. It hurt. I mean, I'm not going to say it's an excuse for the game. I mean, those two guys are, are, are two of our better defensive rebounders. Um, you know, we didn't have a defensive rebounding from our starting or, or uh, our five, the two fives that played. We didn't have one defensive rebound against that, and um, so I think that hurt with that. But I, I, we went into it. We, you know, we we're all we had opportunities to win. We take care of the ball. We rebound. We shoot a little better. We have opportunities to win. I got to give them credit. Um, I'll say this. You know, Hunter was Hunter. He's just a load. 2016. I thought Furphy was so efficient. He had 15 points on like eight shot shots. He had, um, you know, he was super efficient. He had nine rebounds, uh, two assists, no turnovers. I think three steals. Um, super efficient. You know, Harris, seven assists, no turnovers. I, I thought they were really efficient um, production with that. So I got to give them credit with that. And um, um, so. No excuses being shorthanded. You're not going to get them from me. We we felt if we 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 got we took care of the ball, we rebounded, and we, we knocked a couple shots down in the second half. It's a different game, but it wasn't. Yeah, for the Kansas got a good team, but it's a thin team. They don't go very. When you're healthy. You got a pretty deep team. Do you have to get Kansas with with their lack of depth? I mean, if you, if you can't if you can't counter that, it seems like they're really tough to beat. I, I think they're. I think they're really tough to beat because I, I mean, their first five pretty much bring it every day. Even though they're not deep, they're still coming off the bench with a McDonald's All American, you know, and El Marco. So I think they still have, um, you know, some some good players. But their first five, they could have four All League players in the freshman of the year. They they could. I mean, they, they, they're, they're, those they're, those first five are as good as any five in the country. Um, I mean, literally, they'll, they'll have four guys get. A chance to be, you know, all conference, and uh, so I'm not, I'm not. I mean, you know, their depth. I mean, when you compare it to some of the Kansas teams of the past, they're not as deep. Um, but I think they're super strong. I mean, obviously they're so well coached. They're so, and those first five um, are, are so loaded. So, you know, I, I felt we did some things we wanted to do defensively, uh, especially in the first half. And, um, you know, I, I can't say it enough. I mean, those, those turnovers out front that lead to baskets and those rebounds are hard to game to, to defend. We have to limit those, and we didn't limit those tonight. Cool. Or you mentioned Hunter being Hunter, but what did you think of Sam and Luke's effort? I think their effort was good, you know. Um, but um, we just, you know, you, he's, he's just so productive every night. I mean, his, he's a 20 and 16. It just seems like it's like every night. And uh, so um, I thought we were doing some good things, digging down on, on Hunter in the first half. You know, he still had four assists. But we, uh, I thought we did a good job in the first half. Um, but, 
Um, he, he's a load. He's a, he's a, a really great player. And uh, he takes his time in there. He can pass. Um, it's a phenomenal player. Eli, Porter with Luke, where are you seeing the, the pieces of his game that are catching up, but also the parts where at this point, how much he's played, the game is still moving fast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know we got we got to we got to help him. I got to help him as a coach. You know, um, with his confidence. Um, you know, with uh, with he's a good passer, but he was getting you know getting kind of caught there with one dribble picking it up. Um, but uh, I got to help him. I got to be better a head coach for him. He's he's young. He's, we got to get through this. And when he gets through this, he's going to help us a lot. He's going to help us a lot. The guys see it in practice every day, um, doing some of the things, and um, it, it's going to translate. I'm an, I need to help him get that to translate uh, onto the floor from practice. Mark, you have to kind of coax him to look for a shot, and that's one of his strengths. And parts. Yeah, I mean, he. I think he, he was 0 for 3 today. You know, he, he had some good looks at it, um, and uh, you know. I, I'm, I'm, all I can do is say, keep shooting it. Just keep shooting the good shots. I just want them to be more aggressive if they're flying at him. You know, and um, I thought he tried to battle defensively down there. I thought he tried to battle. But, um, you know, I got to help him get along. I got to help him move him along. Um, he knows I have total confidence in his shot. Um, but, uh, you know, he went up against back to back. You know, I think Missy at Baylor is, is going to be a first round draft point. Hunter is, too. He went to back to back 7 1. High level centers, and he's a freshman, so we got to keep. I got to keep helping him move along. Also, uh, for a week off, you think you get Suarez and people back this week off? I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. You know, uh, this just shows you what uh, with Rivaldo. He said he never missed a game at any level in his life. Gets his uniform on, and he's down there warming up. I'm like, Rivaldo. So an hour before the game, he was down there, fully suited up, and he was trying to go. He had the trainer down there, he was, um, and he was trying to go, and um, finally I'm just like, go get your street clothes on. I mean, he really wanted to go, and he just was about 50 to 60%, and I just was not going to do that to him. You know, it's just not worth it to me. I mean, I, I would never put him in jeopardy, you know. So his progress has been great these three days. Now he's got a week off. So I, I think, you know, check with us throughout the week, um, and I'm hoping his progress continues. But that kid was in his uniform warming up an hour before the game, and I had to pull him out. I had to get him in his street clothes. Okay, we're going to go back left. How frustrating was it hearing all those Kansas chants at the end of the game there? Um, I, was, I, was, I was just – it is what it is. I was thinking – I wasn't really hearing it, I'll be honest with you. I was, uh, I was you know, disappointed. We lost an opportunity. We had an opportunity tonight. I'm more thinking about losing that opportunity. What I got to do to get get us better, um, and uh, that's what I was thinking about. I mean, uh, I thought our crowd was great. They they showed out again, and uh, um, we we had a very poor second half. Uh, we'll get better, but I, you know, I, I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking about you know what we need to do better, and disappointed we blo we did, we lost this opportunity. Holden, did you have a question? Yeah. Um, Obviously, you can't make the shots go in, but just what's it like on the sideline when you're just watching the lead slip away and just you can't buy a bucket? Let's yeah, I, I, I thought, you know, that doing as long as I have, you go through droughts, but like it, it seemed like a pretty long one tonight. You know, one for 11 from three, and then we, we even got some layups that went in and out. We got some ones where we got fouled that you're trying to get an and one, and it looped out. We just, uh, um, you know, we were, you know, you're not going to be Kansas making four shots, four field goals in the second half, and then getting out rebounded and turnovers like that. And I still think we had our shots, you know, or had our, had our opportunities. And uh, they just got that separation, um, you know, at that one segment. We have to do one or two more questions, but yeah, Coach, I know you said you weren't going to make any excuses or anything, but you know, when things are going bad shooting wise, oftentimes you can go to your bench and try to shake things up. And, you really didn't have the depth that you normally have. How much of a factor was that? Well, I, the last seven games, Rivaldo was averaging 13 points a game. Every game, it seems like. I mean, he had 17 when he got hurt in Baylor. He's been one of our best scorers. John, that's what he can do. And John can pass, too. You know, John was averaging eight or nine. So it's <clears throat> it's a guy that was – so it is, but it's no excuse. I mean, we still have guys that can step up. Um, you know, 
even you know Mox played limited minutes, but I thought he penetrated and kicked it for a nice three. I thought he, he had a nice play. But yeah, I mean, when, it's easy. When, like, I can look back when scoring was our problem in the second half. You you're not having some guys that can score, um, especially if one or two guys are off, then maybe you know, maybe Rival Rivaldo's been able to almost come in almost every game and give you a lift. Um, but I, I I can't say it enough. I, I I'm not using it before the game, not using it after. We can find ways to win. We're going to go Ryan Chapman to close it out. We talked a lot about the second half, that last two minutes of the first half, like the 11. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a good point. We talked about the locker room. We're like, man, we we had an 11, and we let that slip to five at halftime. And uh, I'll, I'll be able to answer that question better, you know, when I really evaluate the tape. But, like, yeah, I thought we had some opportunities at the end of the half that they, they came back on us at the end of the half, too. And, man, I thought we were doing some great things to get up there at 11. We were, you know, obviously we were making some shots, too. We made seven threes in the first half. And um, so, um, yeah. That, that that end of the first half, we you know, we 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 lost our gap right there.